Hey everybody, Austin here with another episode of my Let's Play Europa Universal 4, Rise of the Ottomans. Uh, let's pick up where we last left off. Can't remember exactly what was going on. We might be in a war, we might not be in a war. Looks like we just got out of a war, we have a truce going on. Let's uh, dig into it so we can find out. So, if I remember right in our last episode, we... Oh, it looks like we're out of a war. But we took over these guys... Then we started going into these guys and took all of this land. Actually, I think that's right where our w episode ended. We just finished this war. Uh, let's check in what some of our exhaustion looks like. Did we start doing the... Uh, yes, so we started the course. So just started the course. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have troops in foreign territory. All right, we need to get them back to us, which looks like we are already in the process of doing that. Am I moving you guys? I am, alright. So I'm moving those guys. Huge revolt possibility, we've got a religious revolt. And invest in some new technology, so Ministry of Technology. So we already did the core, so let's go ahead and do this, which will increase our production, giving us more money. Uh, there's an idea we can do, but I think I was holding off on the idea because I want to get the next military tech, which... I'm ahead of time by two years, so... May as well, let's do the idea. I think we can get it cheaper. Yep, 380, let's do it. So now that we get the idea, but we also got our uh, Ottoman idea. that gave us cost of reducing more exhaustion minus 10%. Cool. So let's go ahead and get things going then. I know our goal is we want to, as my goal always is, I want to get my, uh, get my manpower back up. So then that way we can start to look at going to war down here. This is probably going to be one of the main areas I want to look at conquering soon, is to get the Mamelets. I think I'm saying that right, the Mamelets. Um, before I get that though, it would be nice to eventually get, uh, probably some more of this area up here, just so I don't have to worry about it so much. I guess I can't go a little bit too at a time here, though, but I think they're pretty powerful. I mean, they have, with them, they're allied with... Shimia and Haitian. So, they're actually allied with one of my... One of my, uh... Rivals, or one of my, sorry, one of my allies, and I think they're my allies, too. Yep, so they're actually allied with two of my allies, so... Going to war with them, I'm not sure if they are going to bring in anyone else. No. These guys, I think I eventually wanted to look at trying to... Uh, I guess take action. Offer vassalization, but... What is the saying that it's... Disinfluent borders, I need to get closer to them. And I need to have a better relationship with them. Base tax, so I think they're still getting more bad tax compared to what you They have a lot of tax, so I need to be way over them. Let's just improve. I think we can improve our relationship a little bit more. That way, because I don't want them going to war in case I uh, decide to go to war with these guys. What else they were paying me? 134. So I have a little aggressive expansion there, but that will wear off soon. And let's improve relations with them too. Get these guys up really high in my favor, so that way they won't want to go to the aid of these guys when I do eventually attack them. And our aggressive expansion over here is also going down too. These guys will eventually want to go back to war with, conquer some- they're kind of in the great picking land right now, we can conquer their land. It does not look like they're in a coalition against me, which is nice. But when can I go back to war with them? Uh, looks like 1508. So we got it five years. Which I guess makes sense because we just got out of that war. Other area too I want to start looking at eventually conquering is going to be over here. If we can get some Bosnia. That'd be good. See what they look like. They are. They're in a 
Coalition Against Hungary. Interesting. I've not seen any allies. They have a pretty negative opinion of us because of all that aggressive expansion. I could probably, once I get my guys up here again, focus on going to war with Bosnia. to do another military idea with the artillery combat ability on the light ship combat ability. Yeah, I'll keep that PD up because I need to tidy up. I am going to need to convert all these guys too, which a lot of them. Maybe that one will take a while. Just because they're a Shiite. Hopefully they can get that stuff back up. Power coming. 508 each month. I think I could probably, now that I've increased my. Well, actually, let's go back to the unique buildings that we have here. We have Embassy, which will give us another diplomat. And this will actually give us a lot more manpower. Let's build one of these. How much is that going to cost us? 500 gold, 10 military power. Alright. We build that in. Oh, they have to be next to one of our enemies. So let's build it in... here. Let's also focus on, I believe I can get training fields now, which will increase my recruitment time. Oh, they already have training fields, which is nice, so let's start getting them over here. Definitely want to get it in Constantinople. Any place I see 27. Can we get that extra manpower. 7, 27, 27, 27. Tell them sweet lies. Cool. Gain 5 prestige and their opinion went always up with me, which is always good. It's always better when they have a, a positive opinion of me. Spend all our money building those, but those should, once they build, really help us out in getting uh, in getting our uh, what am I trying to say here, in getting our uh, manpower up. It looks like our inflation's down, which is good. We're still making a lot of money, 1750 a month, mostly from taxes, even though our production is starting to go up, which is good. Now with Bosnia at war with Hungary, this could be a good time to start going to war with Bosnia. If I declare war, do I have any Kazebeli? No. So let's focus on getting at least some of those. Let's focus on getting the Kazebeli with them. Claim. It's fabricated on. Yeah, let's cut out their access to the water here. They're kind of. They'll kind of be a starter war to get us ready for a bigger war over here. Though the longer I let these guys sit, the harder it's going to be to go at war with them. diplomats. No, but I could, once I get 500 gold again, build that building that will allow me to get an extra diplomat. It looks like Bosnia is trying to fabricate a claim on me too, so it'd be fine to uh, fabricate one on them. Let's see if we can wipe them off the map. How's the rest of the world doing? France looks like has expanded a little bit over here. They're still Aragon. Castile has not taken them over. Castile has not formed Spain yet, and they actually haven't even taken over this area. Interesting. So they're going pretty slow. 
Portugal is expanding down. Is it right? Let's get our guy here. Let's do our 24. Get you on peasant revolt. And we lost our Kezebeli on them. That's fine, we'll get it back once we start to go to war with them again. Oh, that's actually a whole team of my core constructions. Which are coming along good, they're mostly at 50%. One of our missionaries is almost done. We actually have a free merchant. Should probably take care of that. Send the guy here to collect. So it looks like we currently have the most power there, so we might as well collect from it. 1.62, alright. Right, took out those rebels. Let's see how is our improved relations going on here. 165, which is good. All our aggressive expansion is gone now from them too, which is good. Here we still have no aggressive expansion, which is good. I mean, cool, we did convert that, did that mission. Levant is getting these guys, which we'll want to get. Where's Chernova? Belly over there. Chernovo's over here. Oh. They don't have our culture? They don't. When did that happen? So we'll make that our. I didn't do it fast enough. We'll do this one. Where is Burgess? Oh, we lost stability. That's not good. Culture. Whoa, these guys all changed cultures on me. All right, well we'll start converting them. We'll take about five years. I didn't realize these guys weren't our culture.
Bosnia now trying to take over this as a war goal. So let's go ahead and send our guys over. I never noticed my guys are unique looking. the ships that were there didn't even realize it. I want to focus on getting some of my ships up. Kind of retreat. All right. Let me show it them. We're now only at negative five, which is coming from the blockades and not controlling our orbital. Cool. Our cores are starting to come through here. So let's start now sending our guys to convert them.
still negative. I need to get a little bit bigger. Not big enough still. Can't afford that war right now. Let's decline it. I know it's gonna take a huge prestige hit. I need to leave here. There's a good chance you're gonna. Oh, well, you're going to Siberia, right? Actually, let's touch you here. Take out this floor.
41 aggression points. Someone Austria, someone Hungary, Venice, Poland. So these guys will need to back off from a while. Bosnia full 100, but doesn't matter because I'll have them wiped off the map. Alright, let's do it. Probably gonna need some aggression coalitions against me now. Do here. Yep, Milan's in a coalition against me. Cool, so that was kind of a good battle. No, the Popple State's got a coalition against us. Alright. We need to stay away from over here for a while. We should be able to start going to with these guys again. I think I'll probably end it for this episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please like the video. If you enjoy watching more you will play Universal 4 videos for this other one's place, subscribe to my channel, Hildog137, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or uh, follow me on Twitter, Hildog1378. And then also just leave comments. Tell me what I can do better on this, please some hints on how you want to see me play, or you want to see me do something next. Other than that, everyone, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.